Hi, and welcome to another Ann Arbor Sewing Center Sew It Yourself project. Today we will be working on an earbud case. What you will need for this simple project is a quarter yard fusible woven interfacing, a ruler, thread, rotary cutter, a fourth of a yard of fabric, three fourths of an inch or one inch swivel hook, a seven inch or larger zipper, scissors, and a CD. To begin, cut four seven inch squares from your fabric. Afterwards, cut two seven inch squares of fusible woven interfacing. At this point, you should have four seven inch squares of fabric and two seven inch squares of fusible woven interfacing. Next, cut one four inch by seven inch rectangle from the fabric. Set these rectangles aside for later. You will now fuse the interfacing to the wrong sides of two squares of fabric, leaving two fabric squares with no interfacing remaining. In total, you will now have two square pieces of fabric with interfacing. This will now be referred to as exterior fabrics. The two square pieces of fabric remaining without interfacing will be the interior fabrics. We will now cut one of the exterior fabric pieces in half. You should now have two 7 inch by 3 and a half inch rectangles of exterior fabric. Similarly, we will cut one of the interior fabric squares in half, resulting in a total of two 7 inch by 3 and a half inch rectangles of interior fabric as well as two 7 inch by 3 and a half inch rectangles of exterior fabric. We will now start to assemble our earbud case. First, lay one of the 7 inch by 3 and a half inch pieces of exterior fabrics right side up on the table. Now on top of that exterior fabric piece, Lay the zipper along the 7 inch side of the fabric with the zipper pulled down. On top of the rectangle exterior fabric and zipper, lay down a 7 inch by 3 and a half inch piece of interior fabric with the right side facing down onto the zipper. The zipper will now be sandwiched between your exterior fabric and interior fabric. Make sure all three pieces line up on the 7 inch side. It is now time to begin sewing. Taking the zipper sandwich, sew a seam with the zipper foot along the edge of the zipper. Next, press the fabrics right side up away from the zipper. After ironing, place the zipper sandwich right side down on top of the other unsewn exterior 7 inch by 3 and a half inch piece of fabric. The unsewn exterior fabric piece should be right side up. On top of that, lay down the other 7 inch by 3 and a half inch piece of interior fabric right side facing down. Taking that, sew a seam with the zipper foot, keeping the foot close to the edge of the zipper on the opposite side of the zipper that has not been sewn. Afterwards, press both fabrics away from the zipper with the right sides facing out. Next, top stitch along both sides of the zipper. Taking the 4 inch by 7 inch piece of fabric from before, we will now start to make the tab which will hold the swivel hook. Fold the 4 inch by 7 inch piece of fabric in half the long way and press. Open the 4 inch by 7 inch piece of fabric back up and fold the outside raw edges into the center of the piece of fabric with right sides facing out. Fold again along the center crease and there should now be 4 layers of fabric. Sew a top stitch along both sides of the fabric. This top stitched piece of fabric is your tab. Slide the swivel hook onto the tab and fold in half. Baste the end of the folded tab to hold the hook on. Next, 
taking the fabric piece with the zipper, sew the tab with the encased swivel hook onto the exterior side of the zipper and fabric piece. Sew the tab directly on top of the zipper, which is facing up. On your table, place the other 7 inch square exterior fabric piece, which does not have the zipper, face down. On top of that exterior fabric piece, lay the other interior fabric square, which does not have a zipper, right side up. Placing the CD in the middle of this fabric sandwich, trace around the CD with a pen onto the interior fabric. Flip this fabric sandwich so that the CD trace marks are facing down. Lay the fabric piece with the zipper and swivel hook on top of this. The swivel hook and zipper should be facing down. At this point, your interior fabric pieces, the fabric without interfacing, should be on the outside of your sandwich. Make sure to unzip your zipper halfway. Pin around this fabric sandwich paying close attention to the side of the zipper that is open. With the trace marks facing up, sew directly around the circle. Next, cut around the sewn circle, keeping about a quarter of an inch away from the stitches. After cutting, flip the circle right side out and iron. To finish, top stitch a quarter of an inch around the circle. On behalf of Ann Arbor Sewing Center, we hope you enjoyed this Sew It Yourself earbud case tutorial, and we would love it if you showed us your unique earbud case with us on our Facebook page. Make sure to check out all of our other video tutorials located on our website, including our pencil case tutorial, which is perfect to pair with your brand new earbud case for back to school. We hope you have a wonderful day, and as always, Happy sewing!